Hi friends, in this session, I am going to explain about how to create SSAS Tabular project in SSAS tool. So if you are watching first time my video, please subscribe and like my channel and also share with your friends. Why? Because in this channel, I am providing complete training of SSAS from beginning level to advanced level and also interview questions, real time project with scenario based and much more updated in this channel. So in this video, we are going to learn about how to create SSAS tabular project or multidimensional project. So if you want to create SSAS project, so we have to install the Visual Studio. Okay, so I installed latest version of Visual Studio. So Visual Studio 2019. Here, create a new project. So we are creating a project. That's the reason why First of all, you have to create the project, right? So here you have to search analysis service. What is that? Analysis service. See this. Here we can able to see analysis service, multi-dimensional and data mining project, right? So in our case, so we are going to create here analysis services tabular project. Just select this. I want a tabular project. I want to create. So select this one and just click on next and uh, tabular project name so it is taken tabular project 3 okay so if you want to rename you can rename the project name so location where it is going to store that is also if you want to change here so here you can browse and you can change here right and solution name okay and here framework what is the framework so framework so if you are using latest version so you have to select the latest version of uh, framework okay dot net framework so i am using 4.7.2 so i am using here uh, visual studio latest version that's the reason why you have to select latest version of framework okay so otherwise maybe you will get the compatibility issues that's the reason why just click uh, on create here you can able to see workspace so workspace means where we have to deploy right so select an analysis services instance to use while authoring projects integrated workspace so if you want to store within the visual studio then we have to select the integrated workspace or you want to store in somewhere so you have to give the select works uh, workspace server and you have to give that uh, server name and also you can able to test the connection that connection is working or not okay so now i don't have any servers right that's the reason why i am selecting this one integrated workspace in real time both scenarios will come okay so integrated workspace eliminates the need to provide an explicit explicit as server instance as means analysis services server instance okay so we are uh, deploying here only okay so now here SQL Server uh, 2016, what is the version here? Come here. Compatibility level also very important. So I am using Visual Studio latest version, right? So you have to select uh, SQL Server also latest version. So 1500 you can able to see. So SQL Server 2019 or Azure Analysis Services 1500. You have to select this one. So this compatibility level is also very important. Why? Because in order to create a new tabular model, you must select a compatibility level. The compatibility level must be compatible with the analysis services server version you want to deploy to. That's the reason. Okay. So you have to. So if you are using a older version of SQL Server, then you go for the older version here. So if you are using latest version, you can go for the latest version. So I am using latest version of SQL Server 2019. That's the reason why I selected this one and just click on OK. Don't worry, it won't take much time. Yeah, now it's created. Okay, model.beam. Okay, tabular project 3 is created. So in this way, we can able to create the project so if you want to create multi-dimensional project you have to select the multi-dimensional option okay that's it so if you have uh, any questions you can comment in the below 
or if anybody required special training so you can contact to this email id or you can call direct to this mobile number my whatsapp number also same number thank you for watching my video